All right, boys and girls, got us a campsite for tonight. You can see Lake James in the background there. All right, that's probably about as good as I'm gonna get. The sun is just deafening blind over there. But anyhow, so I'll talk a little bit about some of the van updates we've made since uh, the last couple of trips. And uh, we'll let G Money put the camera on me and I'll just kind of show you a little bit of what we've been doing. We're kind of trying to make our way to a final destination, which includes a hot water shower in the inside of the van with the limited space that we have. So we're gonna have to get very creative. Our first plan is to uh, put a uh, 18 gallon water, gray water tank up under the van and we'll hang that by some straps. And uh, that's gonna give us enough gray water capacity to hold our shower. We have 14 gallons of uh, fresh water capacity, but uh, let's walk inside here and uh, talk a little bit about what we've done. The first thing we did, we just added some pockets. What we found is sleeping with your head toward the front of the van is a little bit more forgiving on your body because there's cold air that radiates off the back door. And uh, sleeping with your head up here, actually, you doesn't get as cold. We had all of the electricity and the power outlets toward the back um, and places to store and keep your phones and stuff like that. So we added one to the front here, which makes it more convenient. I showed you this the other day, but we cut out a space here for a seat. You can see that we have a cushion down there now. And we moved the microwave up to give us some headroom here so you, you, can, easily, you can easily sit down here now. And without the cushion, I have plenty of head space but uh, with the cushion it's a little tight but anyhow that gives us some extra seating space and uh, we moved the paper towel rack toward the front there now with the swivel seat toward the front and this seat and then we have a fold out seat this actual cushion here is actually another seat we've got capacity for three to sit in here nice boots g money to get those from <laughs> So anyhow, so one of the things that we did, so you guys saw in a, a previous video, we had a hot, uh, instant on hot water shower that we would use at the back of the van and we would uh, erect that tent and get inside of there and take a shower. And we really didn't use it a lot. I think we used it one time in, in Myrtle Beach uh, to shower it, because it was not convenient where it was at. So what we did is we moved it here, got our hot water heater mounted now and we have a new faucet that folds down that is hot water. This is one of these uh, faucets that swivels down and then you can fold it to go flat like that as well. Or you can do it like that when you're traveling so the water don't, that's collected up in there, doesn't seep out. And we still have our cold water right now. We're not mixing at all because I like how small the spout is on this cold water. That keeps it from wasting a lot of water and so we can get hot water out of here we can get cold water out of here we also have some valves here where we can get you know a bigger stream of cold water if we need we can just put a garden hose on there i've got a little tube we can fill up a pan with or a pot whatever we need to do i also have some plumbing here with the propane so there's a cutoff valve here so if we if we shut this valve off then we're just running cold water through here so you can also take a cold water shower or just use the cold water output of this but with the propane on, it'll heat up. So down in the bottom now, we have our pump mounted on the side here. And I may add an accumulator tank uh, later on, but uh, we'll see how well it works. We haven't really, this is our first kind of break-in test for it, right? Yeah. So we're gonna see how it works. So we've got our, our pump down there and Behind the gray water back there, you can see in the bottom is our propane. We have a one pound propane back there that is connected up to our uh, hot water heater. And uh, that's kind of down in the floor out of the way. And so we can just uh, pop a new one pound in there when we are, whenever we need it. Um, we're probably not gonna put a big propane tank in here cause I just don't wanna have a, a big propane tank in the inside. But uh, we may move the gray water outside to the gray water tank that we're gonna strap under the bottom of the van. That's gonna give us a little bit more capacity to do stuff under the sink. Got to get a longer shower head because the shower head's not long enough now to reach. So what we want to do is actually put a shower right here. One of those uh, 
what is it babe like a hula hoop shower basically what we're thinking right now is just a hula hoop on top a shower curtain 360 degrees and just a little doggy pull down at the bottom you've probably seen these on the internet before and i'll cut a floor a hole through the floor for the drain down to the gray water tank underneath the van and that'll give us the capability to take both hot and cold showers which will be nice we've got our plumbing all nicely tucked away up here in the top and if i want to uh everything has a valve on it we can shut it off and uh, we can divert it however we want to so uh, eventually will, will we go to a blended uh, water faucet maybe right we don't know yet but uh, it's going to be nice having this hot water right here at our at our uh, demand so we get everything plugged in and uh, propane's on so we can get hot water hopefully so we got a good we should see our uh, our heater come on and it instantly starts to uh, to heat. You can feel it right now. It's almost 80 degrees. So we'll cut that off. There's our hot water out of there. And then we can also do our shower if we want to. So, yeah, so we're like almost at 90 degrees already. So in the sake of not wasting water, that's pretty much uh, what we have. And then we still have our normal cold water coming out of our little lithium battery pump here as well too. All right, so the other thing I'm gonna show you is a quick tip. All right, so these are these seven gallon tanks that we use and they come with like a three quarter inch threaded lid here in the center, but you can see here, I've actually drilled this one out to hold a, uh, a bigger pipe. So the one tip about pickup for water, if you're using tubes like I am, you can see there I've got input tube for my uh, hot water heater and then I've got an additional tube here for the cold water that's coming out of this little the cold water that's coming out of this little lithium pump so I've got both of those tubes the problem with tubing and being a pickup in a water jug like this is that the tubing curls up so the tubing curls up at the end and if you didn't have this PVC here the tubing would just curl up and then it wouldn't pick up water all the way to the bottom right so yeah. what we did is um, we got a elbow, we stuffed the tube down in it and made it, you know, enough length to keep the tubing straight so that the bottom of the tubing will actually pick up the water from the tank. And it usually will get us down to about a half an inch left in the bottom of the tank. Now I have another pickup at home that was smaller that it threaded in here. But since I'm running multiple tubes down here now, I needed a larger PVC diameter. So I just drilled this out. Eventually I might, PVC glue this elbow into the lid and that way to make it one piece but right now getting it in and out it's easier to have it separate and just kind of loose and hanging down in there so even if it's this this stiff braided tube you can see how it's curled up already and depending on how hot or cold it is it may curl even into a loop you can see how curly that tube is there keeping it inside that PVC actually keeps it straight and that way you can pick up the maximum amount of water when it gets low in your uh in your water tank. Here's the other uh, seven gallon water tank I have in the back of the van. It has a lid that has not been bastardized by me yet. So you can see here, it's threaded. So you can go to the store and buy yourself a PVC fitting that has threads on one end, has a coupler on the other end, and uh, half inch PVC here. And that'll give you a pickup line. And then you can run your tube through this and that will keep the tube straight. So obviously I'm not using this one because it's not, not a large enough diameter to actually insert both of my water tubes in. So I chose to drill the other lid out. It just screws in the top of the lid like this. And these lids come like this. This is a Reliance seven gallon jug. So, or you can do like I did and bastardize it and cut the hole out. You can even thread it and do whatever you want to with it. But this is just a couple of different options here I'm showing you. I don't use the PVC as a pickup. I use it to help straighten the intake tubes on my water pumps to keep them straight down into the water. That way I can get suction, you know, down to the minimum depth level of water inside the tank, which allows me to, you know, use up almost all of the seven gallons. Hopefully the next time we do a van update, we're gonna have the hula hoop shower in here and uh, we'll show you how that works. All right, so the other update we made is to the cooking section. So. We've had that blue double burner propane stove for the longest time, and we've been sitting that up here on our 
our uh, tabletop here and it covers up our sink. So we can't use the sink and the propane grill at the same time without getting in the way of each other. I just kind of cut a hole in the top here so the burner will sit and that kind of matches this propane tank. And so what I do is I've just got a little window thing keeping it down here. And then we just uh, latch this up like that. So now the propane stove is not way up in the air and G Money is, she's not the tallest person. So if the pan's way up here, she can't even see what she's doing. So this puts the propane tank lower. Plus you could actually drive around. I drove around with this and uh, it is really stable. So, um, we're gonna go with that for now and uh, see how it works out for us. And uh, we may do some different propane plumbing in the future, but for right now, it's, I think it's gonna give us access to the sink. We're gonna be able to cook. We don't have to worry about fighting for space there because um, we're quickly running out of space in this van in the front here. There's only a small section here because we have such a big garage anyhow. So that's the other update we made. In order to do that, we moved our broom to the back table that folds out. And then once we get this longer shower head, there's the shower head mount up there on the wall. And that's where the shower head will mount to. And we just have to figure out how to get our hula hoop up there. That's how you do it. She's good at hula hooping. Hula hoop. All right. Shower. That's going to do it for this video. You guys know what to do. Get up and ride. Van up and go. Babe. Everybody need to plan B. Everybody need Everybody. Everybody. Cha-cha for now.